Hello everyone. So today we're going to do a practical verification of the basic proportionality theorem. We have already talked about this theorem in one video. So if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides at distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. That is the statement of this theorem. So let us try to verify this. Okay. So here we have a triangle x, y, z. We shall draw a line which is parallel to one side of a triangle y, z and we shall name this line a, b. So according to the theorem, if a, b is parallel to y, z, then x a by a y is equal to x b by b z. So here we shall measure x a, a y, x b, b z. x a is equal to how much? x a is equal to 12 centimeter. So we will write x a equal to 12 centimeter. a y is equal to how much? a y is equal to 18 centimeter. So we will write a y equal 18 centimeter. And the ratio x a by a y is equal to 12 by 18. Okay. So let us measure x b. So XB is how much? XB is 10 centimeters. So we will write XB equal to 10 centimeter. And BZ is how much? BZ is 15 centimeters. So we will write BZ equal to 15 centimeter. And the ratio XB by BZ is equal to 10 by 15. So you might say that XA by AY is not equal to XB by BZ. But let us reduce this uh, ratio to the simplest form. All right. So how do we do that? So if you look at XA by AY, if you look at this ratio, we can reduce this ratio to the simplest form by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the HCF, the highest common factor, or by dividing 12 and 18 by the highest number which can divide them both. And that number is what? That number is 6. So here, 12 divided by 6 is 2, 12, 18 divided by 6 is 3. So the ratio becomes 2 by 3. And in the other ratio, uh, XB by BZ, the HCF of 10 and 15 is 5, right? So if you divide 10 by 5, we'll get 2. If you divide 15 by 5, we'll get 3. So the ratio here also becomes 2 by 3. So in the simplest forms, we find that uh, xA by AY is equal to xB by BZ. So just like the theorem says, we found out that if EB is parallel to YZ, then xA by AY is equal to xB by BZ. So you can try to verify this theorem uh, by yourself by taking any triangle with any random measurements and try to draw a line which is parallel to any side of that triangle and find out whether the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Just like in, in this other example, I've drawn a triangle PQR here and I've drawn one line ST which is parallel to one side of the triangle. ST here is parallel to PR. And the measurements here, QS is equal to 8 cm, SR equal to 6 cm uh, and then QT is equal to 12 cm. TP is equal to 9 cm. So in order to verify the basic proportionality theorem, we have to find out whether the ratio QS is to SR is equal or not to the ratio of QT is to TP. If they are equal, then the basic proportionality theorem statement is true. And you can also draw any triangle with uh, any given measurements of the sides and draw one line which is not, not parallel, not parallel to a side of, a, of that triangle and see whether the other two sides are divided in the same ratio or not. Okay. So until next time, thank you.